Hey, good day once again. So now we're gonna cover a few things um, to continue our videos about how to fire with our weapon. So we're gonna need to create a function that we're gonna call use ammo. So just click here on function and call it use ammo and just put this code here. So from ammo drag and get your current clip that uh, you should have under weapon and from the current clip just search for a clamp make sure that the, the number here it's your um, the amount of bullet that you want to have in your clip for your weapon so for me it's 30 but if you want more you change the number right there from the value we have to subtract one from the current clip so every time we're gonna shoot it's gonna use one bullet so when you're done uh, done with that code you can save and exit that so now we have that ready for us so that's good so we're gonna go to our code here I'm gonna go to enough ammo I'm gonna do this code first because it's sharp and quick or probably just quick actually so I'll be on your keyboard and click and click and connect that to the branch and we're gonna take our current clip take our current clip put it there do a get and we're gonna search for greater so we're gonna take greater and I'm gonna connect that right there and from that branch here if it's true well we want to set our can fire so can fire here in a weapon just plug it to true to get a set check it up and take it again so right there and make sure it's unchecked so this basically is just going to verify that we do have more than zero bullet in our clip to be able to shoot. If we don't, well, we won't be able to shoot. So we're going to take this, C on it, and I'm just going to call that enough ammo to be able to shoot. So we're all good with that. So we can compile and save that. Now we're gonna um, we're gonna set up our toggle fire. So we're gonna here in the toggle fire. We're gonna drag from press or it'll be on your keyboard for a branch. Just plug it up. And the toggle fire. It's a little bit confusing, but basically we're gonna take full auto and plug it right there. And from the true here we're going to take full auto again and we're going to set it to true right and we're going to do another branch here and plug the branch to it and from burst fire we're going to take is burst fire plug it to true and we're going to take burst fire again and plug it to false and we're going to check it and we're going to take burst fire once again and just plug it to the condition right here so from fall here we're gonna do another branch and the condition of that branch would be is burst fire we're gonna take that and we're gonna set burst fire there and the other one would be full automatic so right here and we're gonna check this one up so basically what it's doing when we're gonna press F for me on the keyboard is going to toggle between single fire, burst fire, and auto fire, right? So basically what that code is doing is when you press F on your keyboard, it's going to check that you're in full automatic. If you're full automatic, it's mean it's true. You're going to go there and you you can unset your full automatic and you get in another branch and it's going to look if you're in burst fire. If you're not burst fire, well, it, it's mean that you know it's not true so it's gonna go to burst fire and put burst fire so and if it's not true uh, if it's true it's put you to burst fire and the beginning here if you're not full automatic well it's gonna check if you're burst fire if you're burst fire is gonna uncheck burst fire to put it in full automatic so it's a little bit confusing but because we have to click like each time on F to change this uh, the fire selection by having that code set up that way 
every time we, we press which we're able to swap between the tree firing mode. Uh, I don't know if you remember but we set up those uh, those things a little bit earlier. You remember with your single fire, burst fire and full of selection fire. So just to refresh your memory we did that in the uh, UI interface. You remember here when we open it we have single burst and auto fire in our graph here we set up we did set up uh, this so let me find it here right here so in the fire selection you know we call our blueprint which is this one up here and are we full automatic if we are put that on the screen if not it's mean that when burst fire put that on the screen and if it's not one of those two well it's the other one right so it's what that code here is doing for us so i'm just going to select all of it put a comment and I'm gonna say toggle fire mode. Now we can try this up. So as everything has been set up in earlier video, so we can do play here. And now if you press F on your keyboard, you can see that the fire selection is changing to auto, burst, and single fire. So that's working for us, so we're good with that. So we can exit this. Now let's move to our burst fire. So we're going to go to burst fire right here. I know I'm jumping all over the place. I'm just trying to do the easiest one first. So that way when we go to that one here, you guys are going to understand a little bit more what's going on. So burst fire here. So from burst fire, we need a branch. It'll, it'll be on your keyboard and plug that together. If I'm able to do it. And from the condition here, well, I want to make sure that I'm not, you know, reloading, right? When I'm using, when I'm shooting, because, you know, you cannot reload and shut at the same time. So we have to tell the game that we can't do that. So we're going to take is reloading. I'm going to put it right here. We did do, we're going to do a get and we're going to search for not. It's going to be the Boolean not. And from that, we're just going to drag and do an N, the N boolean, and just plug it right up here. And we're going to take our current clip. And from our current clip, we're going to search for equal. And we're going to put the one that say not equal. And we're going to plug it right there. From that after we're going to move and we're going to call, do we have enough ammo to shoot? Well, we're going to call the function that we did earlier for enough ammo. So it's going to call this here. Make sure that we do have enough ammo to shoot, right? So it's going to call that for us. After that, we're going to search and take a branch. Just plug the branch to it. And we're going to need can fire. Right, if you remember, it's gonna call the function can fire and not can fire but enough ammo. And this, well, if we do have enough ammo, it's set can fire to true. But to be able to fire in our burst fire, we need to make sure that we have the condition here set up for us. And from true, we're gonna call a delay, I'm gonna put delay here and we're going to need to create a variable that is going to be called the burst fire rate, right? At the speed that we want to shoot a uh, burst fire, right? It's important, otherwise it's going to be like kind of full automatic and that's not what we want. At least it's not what I want. So we're going to go up here and search a variable and not search, but create a variable. I'm going to call that burst fire rate. And I'm going to make sure that it's a boolean, uh, a boolean, a float. And I'm just going to move that to weapon here. And here I'm just going to compile and I'm going to change that. So I found out that burst fire worked well at 0 0.05. You can play with that number the way you want. So I'm going to take burst fire, plug it to the duration here. You could also just have put, you know, 0.05 manually here, 
but I like to do variable because when you don't remember if you have a big code you can just drag drag your variable at a good location and you won't have to remember all the numbers right and from false here we're just gonna need uh, is shooting so we're gonna take is shooting here and just set it back to I'm not shooting anymore so I'm gonna take all of that I'm gonna do a comment and I'm just gonna call this basically the uh, burst fire logic so burst fire logic the next one would be the uh, auto fire so I'm just gonna go down here and just copy all this because we're gonna need exactly the same thing down here so same thing with auto fire I want to make sure that we do have enough uh, bullet and that we're not reloading right so we now we have to verify that but here we're gonna have uh, a little bit more to put on so we're gonna do another branch here and we're gonna connect that branch to true and the condition of this will be is shooting right we're gonna do another branch here as well we're gonna put that to true and our condition will be is player dead right because when you die in full automatic if you don't do that it's gonna shoot forever we don't want that so we're gonna create a variable and we're gonna call that is uh, player dead right interrogation I'm gonna call I'm gonna change the type for a boolean I'm just gonna move that to uh, to our boolean here so now we have up here so we can take it and put it to the condition here so we're all set with that so once again we need to make sure that we do have enough ammo to shoot right so we're gonna drag from false and search that we do have enough ammo and from that we're gonna drag again and we're gonna search for another branch and this branch here will be can fire so we're gonna take our can fire that is here and plug it right there right and from that we're gonna search for delay and it's gonna be our full auto fire rate so we're gonna create this so we're gonna create another variable and we're gonna call this one full auto fire rate and I'm gonna change the type to a float and I'm gonna put that in a whip I'm gonna compile and go back to auto fire and I found out that 0 0.08 work well so you can play with that number so basically this will be how fast you want the auto fire rate to shoot so I'm gonna take that variable and put it right there and once again I'm gonna take a shooting and put it right there like so there you go so we can take all that beautiful code here and we're gonna call that uh, auto fire logic there we go that's perfect so we have that done so we almost all set up we still have to do our input action for aiming this one will be a single video by itself well at least I believe because it's a it's a long one and the reloading is not too complicated so we're gonna cover that as well in another video and I'm gonna start another video for um, the action firing because that one is a little bit longer so I'm gonna conclude this one here and I'll catch you on the next one see ya